Buddy, today we're going to have an analogy between the wedding industry and a torque wrench, okay? For those in my inner circle who know me well, know I love working on my German Roadster. Uh, it brings me joy. I love working on it. Uh, but almost every bolt that gets turned on that car uh, has a, a torque spec. So I needed a couple torque wrenches of different sizes so the bolts can get torqued down, all right, to the proper uh, torque spec. Now, in the West, in the places like the U.S. and maybe Canada, people date. And eventually, if they're really into each other, they may become what's known as exclusive, right? They're only dating and sleeping with each other. Uh, before you consider proposing or getting into an engagement, you need to have a prenup talk. Why? Because if you have... If you go ahead and buy an engagement ring and hope that the person says yes, you should be 99.9% .9 sure before you even buy an engagement ring that they're going to say yes. Because why? If you buy an engagement ring, chances are you can't return it for the amount that you paid for it. Uh, and that, that can get pretty ugly. You don't want to do that. But here's where the torque wrench comes in. You need that prenup done properly, signed and done before you buy an engagement ring if possible. Uh, and if you've already bought the engagement ring, before you order wedding invitations or make any wedding plans. Why? Because the way the, in the wedding industry set up, as time goes on, you're getting torqued down. You're getting to, you order wedding invitations, sunk costs. You hire an officiant, rabbi or priest or somebody ordained to marry you. More pressure, baby. Then you hire a photographer, a non-refundable deposit. Guess what? You're getting torqued down. You hire a band or a DJ. Torque wrench. You uh, invite people in from out of town and they buy plane tickets and ho make hotel reservations. Torque wrench. You don't want to be negotiating a prenup with all that torque, with all that pressure, okay? Uh, because now you have the weight and the torque of all these sunk costs while you're making wedding plans. So what can you do? Two, there's two things, and I already said one of them, but I'm going to repeat myself. Get a prenup nailed down before you even buy an engagement ring if that's possible. Why? There's no pressure. There's no pressure. You can walk. There's no sunk costs. If the other person says, there's no way I'm signing a prenup, they might not even know what a prenup can do. It could probably even protect them too. But some people are ignorant. Yep, believe it or not. Uh, and two, the other thing you can do is don't get married. How about that? Don't get married. It'll keep you out of my office. I don't want you in a divorce machine. I don't want you getting torqued down during the course of planning a wedding, all right? All this prenup stuff, all the discussion should be done and can be done properly. But if you're going to call a lawyer two weeks before the wedding day after the torque wrench has been put into place and all your bolts are bolted down, bad move, bad move. Why am I making this video? Because they want to keep you out of a divorce lawyer's office, all right? So think, before the torque wrench makes an appearance, get the prenup nailed down, all right? If this analogy helps you remember, good, it served its purpose, okay? Prenup early or don't get married, all right? Go out and with the, with the money you'd spend on a wedding, if somebody balks at a prenup, and do things that bring you joy, all right? See that diploma back there? I went to the BMW driving school many years ago, and I'm so proud of myself that I didn't barf because you go from zero to 100 to zero in like eight seconds. Uh, so anyone that's interested, check it out. It was in South Carolina. It was more accident avoidance uh, than anything, worth every penny. Be careful out there, all right? Remember... You don't want to be dealing with wedding stuff while you're getting torqued down. Share this with someone who needs to see it.